Facebook, YouTube, the day of Barachel, the Archangel, the blessings of God. No, not Saturn. Saturn is a false god. Quick knowledge of false gods. They don't have nothing to do with creating days. All right, topic of the message. All right. God, I feel so expired to do this, you know. Uh, made a post out of it, but I got to expound on this one. But the reality is, uh, the reality of, of building castles, building castles. Guess what? Everybody, I don't care who you are uh, in this world, you don't realize that you are building a castle. Yes, you will be a, build a castle. Either you build a castle for the kingdom of God, or build a castle for the kingdom of darkness or the kingdom of Satan. See, kingdom of light, kingdom of darkness. You will build a castle. And the problem is, and guess what? This castle is spiritual. This is a spiritual castle that you don't realize that you are going to build. You know, and a lot of people don't realize in life that, of course, Satan is taking advantage of a lot of people that they're building a castle. My proof is really on um, uh, Matthew's 13 when uh, Jesus says, I believe it says, Jesus says, he talks about that uh, the the kingdom is a word. More likely, the kingdom is a word, more likely. Because, or more likely in my, you know, uh, ideal, it, 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 my ideal, I, bricks, like word as bricks. You don't understand that your word is bricks like you your words if you speak faith you speak bricks to your castle if you speak fear you speak fear to your castle I, I'm, I'm, I'm a youth pastor I was a youth pastor and I used to teach you know youth pastor around the uh, to Arcadia and Brandon and I used to teach youth and I taught them about the the you know castle and the dragon you know what I'm saying? And the thing is that you're building a castle. What I'm teaching you right now. You're building a castle. But the dragon, Satan, is going to attack your castle. He's going to attack your castle regardless. Whether you put dark bricks on there or light bricks on there. And the thing is, now when he attacks, are you going to be fortified enough to receive? Uh, to withstand the resistance of his attacks. And the problem is people don't realize because the spiritual castle that they don't realize they're building, that the materials that you put in this castle is, you know, is going to determine when, watch this, how does Satan attack you, but sit problems, situations, circumstances in your life that, you know, or, you know, that try to put you in bad situations and circumstances. And temptation, of course, one of those popular attacks that Satan loved to use to get to damage your castle. Now, watch this. The, you know, the fire-breathing dragon. The fire-breathing dragon is going to come and attack, and it's going to come and attack and find the weaker parts of your castle. He's going to find the places that, places that you spoke fear to, fear areas. He's going to find the fear areas. And he's going to find he's going to find the faith areas. He's not going to focus on the faith areas where you're strong at. He's going to focus on, of course, where you're weak at. And he knows how to attack that area. And he puts his emphasis on that area. And what we're supposed to be doing, we're supposed to be like the castles, having attack weapons, arrows, and all kind of stuff to shoot at the um, dragon or boulders, catapults. To hit the dragon, to fight off the dragon, to tell the dragon to stop bothering. And those arrows and those boulders that are shooting him are the word of God. You know what I'm saying? The word of God is supposed to be utilized as attack. You attack, you know, your enemy and you you, you attack him. Well, I, I believe, you know, um, our, uh, uh, the, the Holy Spirit brings the... The boulders, you know what I'm saying? It's one thing to be hitting the dragon with arrows. Another thing is to hit him with a big boulder. And boom, you really hit him hard. We don't realize uh, the uh, the idea of weaponry as what Paul says to put on the whole armor of God to, you know, battle the wilds of the devil. We don't realize, 
the, uh, the weapons we need to really go against the enemy. We don't realize how consistent. I mean, people, I don't think people enough don't understand how the consistency of Satan in his attacks concerning temptations, concerning, concerning a lot of things. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And you putting yourself in bad positions that make you vulnerable to the enemy. Um, uh, I, to me, the way the church system is developed these days, they do not respect Satan's attacks at all. Because, I mean, because the thing that what he's utilizing to get a more foothold in this earth, this world system, because now he's the God of this world, the blind the minds of men, he's doing a lot of attacks and he has a lot of territory in this world that he can do a lot of things to a lot of people and and drastic as much as it is that you know people don't really realize to what what really le legitimate and spiritual warfare really is that I, I was always look try to post to people say man spiritual warfare the people we we complain about the after effects of spiritual warfare somebody died somebody got shot uh, uh, somebody lost a job Some, something bad happened we complain about the after effects of spiritual warfare but we don't realize how much weapon and arsenal savings come with and how much arsenal that we're going to need but first of all we need to get this castle built properly we need to be uh, more likely 1 Corinthians 3 we need to build the Lord's temple only the temple of God is the only thing that can stand all odds. Hope you got that. The temple of God can withstand all odds. We, our temple that we build based upon our own carnal mind, based upon what we think, what we look at, is not going to be fortified to, to withstand the attacks of the enemy. Only the Lord's temple, if we build it according to what His Word of God says, and do and apply His Word of God properly, this is the only way we can really truly uh, have an advantage. We're playing for advantage because this is a war. A war is something that has constant battles. That we battling, battling. It's a constant fight. It's a constant battle. You know what I'm saying? We're not preparing for a fight, just one fight. We're preparing for many of battles are going to take place in our life. And we need to understand that idea because we want to whine and cry about the bad things that are going on around us and going on personal in our life. We don't realize that it's spiritual warfare. It's intensifying. You don't realize how much Satan wants you to go to hell. That I'll be looking at people. You know, so you don't realize how, what this guy is really serious. I mean, the world, I mean, the graves and the earth should tell you how serious this man is and how many people operate in darkness. Should tell you how serious Satan is. And how serious you need to get about getting the, the whole armor of God. Learning how to build the Lord's temple in your life concerning in prayer and praising God and worshiping God. And learning how to do that on a daily basis. On a daily basis. Because like I said, you're not fighting him one round, you know, fight, fight, fight. But you're fighting him many fights, many fights. You're preparing yourself for many fights. And you need the strength and the energy of God. Uh, with uh, uh, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. You need the strength of God to fight him. Or it says, be strong in the Lord in the power of his might in Ephesians 6 and 10. God's might can only fight this constant war that's continually going on in your flesh and your spirit and everything else. Only the ability, not by power, not by mind, but by the spirit, is the only way you're going to win it. It's... it's you try to do build your, you know, castle, you know what I'm saying, build your sand castles against the enemy and watch it get wiped up by the uh, anybody. But, you know, the trip part, you know, people don't realize that they build sand castles. You know what I'm saying? And I see people, I see people sand castles in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? I see people got sand and stones. And, they, and I see people got stones. And I see sands and stones. And I see more stony but got sand spots. Yes, you can have a stone castle with sand spots in certain areas. We got to realize there's areas in our life that we need, you know, to feel, you know, need to be honest with God. Say, God, 
Lord, is something wrong with my temple? What's wrong with my temple? What I'm putting in my temple that is not of you, that's not got the strength and the power to withstand the attacks of the enemy, or that's not strengthening me to become a better Christian, to love more and more, have joy, have peace in the midst of situations and circumstances in my life. What is in that material more likely? Is we need to understand and we need to uh, ask God to examine and be honest with us and deal with those areas because we got to respect these attacks that Satan is coming with because he's going to come hard and he's going to try, you know, come try to destroy your temple. But if you understand that you're powered by the Lord or you're strong with the Lord and the power of his might and you can do all things through Christ that strengthen you, you can have the victory in constant battle. We are playing for victories. Plural, we trying to play for victories over the enemy. Not just one victory, but victories. This is what this is all about concerning our everyday life and how kind of battle we could. But we're supposed to have stone. Or we're supposed to be, I call it the living stone, you know, battle. Like, you know, uh, uh, first Peter and the second verse talks about living stones. We got to be living stone uh, uh, temples. That, you know, represent Christ to the fullest, you know what I'm saying, the holy priesthood, the holy nation, you know what I'm saying, if you keep reading that, the peculiar people, peculiar people that have stones, living stones that Satan has his trouble, you know, trying to get through, that we need to understand how to build ourselves, and we got to build ourselves with the faith of the God's word, you know. Uh, faith come by hearing, hearing the word of God and how much we hear the word of God, apply the word of God in our life, apply the word of God in our life. And, you know, we can build these stones that say, and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. That we need to, you know, understand as a body of Christ, not as a building of Christ. That Christians need to learn how to unify with other believers in fellowship. That we can be more stronger and stronger and stronger to build a well fortress that Satan cannot penetrate and cannot bother each and every day. And we can give God the glory and honor and praise for giving us the victory each and every day. And that's all I got to say. All right, that's the message. I hope you got it. To God be the glory. Him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Victory over the enemy. Build the right castle.